Uh, welcome to Lincoln Shorts. This is Sean Roberts. I'm Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network. I have with me Larry Norton of the Brandon Center. Um, he's running the um, uh, election, <laughs> elections reform <Yeah>. program <laughs> in the Brandon Center. I said that correctly, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, having a, a mental problem with it now. So, um, so the, uh, we're asking some, uh, I'm asking some questions of elections officials and you're very dialed into the elections community. So I thought this would be good to ask you. Um, so what would a voter, what should a voter do if they're concerned about their absentee ballot being counted and they want to vote in person um, to, you know, make sure, um, what would be your advice? So first of all, I, I think one thing people should understand about um, mail voting, if they decide they want to vote by mail, is that um, in most states, uh, you can return your mail ballot in person. So uh, a, a lot of states have drop boxes and you can, you can take your mail ballot, um, you get in the mail and return it in, into a drop box and you can find those on your local election website where they are. Um, many states allow you to drop off your mail ballot at early voting sites. Excellent. Um, but, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, and at this point, um, and, and we might not have expected this in March, but if you look at the polls today, um, most people say they are going to vote in person. Uh, and you have a lot of op options in, in most states for voting in person. Of course, you can vote at your local polling place on election day. Uh, but but um, most states in Washington, D.C. Uh, have early voting. Um, so uh, there's going to be a period of time even before Election Day when you can go to vote in person. And I would encourage people to find out where they're, where they're allowed to vote um, early and, and to do it as early as possible. Okay. So, so if I have an absentee ballot and, um, and uh, let, let's say... Well, I guess we kind of answered the, the first question that if I'm concerned about it being counted that I just drop it off physically. Uh, but let's say that I already mailed it. Um, mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, I'm concerned about it getting there on time. Now, there are some states that provide your uh, uh, voters the ability to track their ballot and to see if it's been received. Um, I, I don't have the number off the top of my head, but I don't believe it's the majority of states that support that. I, I think it actually, I think it actually might be the majority of states. Now, there, there's, there's been a, a huge sea change in the past few months, even uh, in in states that provide some kind of ballot tracking, and so all of the kind of what are thought of as the tipping point states, the battleground states, um, Texas accepted. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if Texas has tra ballot tracking, but um, but the Brennan Center actually just did a report where we looked at kind of what are thought to be the 12 closest states for the presidential election, um, uh, and they they all allow you to track your ballot. So um, I wouldn't I I think if you're you know the answer for American elections always is it depends <laughs> it depends on where you live because the rules are different in every state. Right. Uh, but but. I think it's the chances are if you're listening to this, you can track your ballot. So that's the first thing I would do if you're worried about it. You want to find out if your ballot was counted, um, uh, it was received. Um, you should track it. You should see if it was received. And then uh, do that by going to your Secretary of State's for your for your state and um, and searching for the you know, more than likely it'd be very prominent right up at the top, uh, uh, being able to track your ballot. Yeah, yeah, or even your county website. Um, may, your county election website may tell you that. Um, and if, if you don't have that ability, you can probably call the, off, the local elections office to find out um, if they've received your ballot. Mm. Uh, the phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't be voting twice. Um, but if you can't do any of those things, um, uh, if you show up at the polling place, they'll probably give you a provisional ballot. Right. Um, and you will, that, that takes a little extra time. You have to fill that out and they will only count that, um, if your mail, if, if they never got your mail ballot, um, mm -hmm. and don't have you as, as having voted by mail. Right. That's not every state though, because as I said, it always depends in New York. Um, the assumption is that you're going to vote in person. So in New York, if you send your, and they don't, they don't start processing mail ballots until after election day. 
Right. So in New York, they will give you a regular ballot. You can vote that ballot, and then they'll throw away your mail ballot. Um, but under no circumstances should they be counting your ballots two, twice. Uh, yes, definitely. And so if you do have this concern and you do find yourself trotting down, let's say, on election day to make doubly sure that your vote counts, um, you would uh, need to tell them um, the situation and say that you voted absentee and you're concerned it's not going to be counted. And perhaps they could tell you right then, um, yes, it was you know, it was counted or we did receive it, and that would assuage you. If not, um, then uh, they would need to be aware. Otherwise, you would be committing felony <laughs> by voting twice. Um, so you right. want and to I, avoid I, that. <laughs> yeah, and I would also I would also say um, uh, I I'd really discourage people from showing up at the polling place to figure out whether or not they their their mail ballot was received. Uh, because um, in addition to, you know, potentially committing a felony by voting twice, uh, um, having to fill out, having to, to go through the process of having to fill out a provisional ballot, having the poll workers get you a provisional ballot, you know, see that you're actually having listed as having asked for a mail ballot, yep. um, that takes time. Uh, and so that's going to gum up the works at the polling place and potentially long lines and disrupt voting for other people. So, um, you know, you should check. And it's possible that what you'll find out is like you, you go on the, on the tracking service that the, your elections office provides and they'll say they didn't get your, your ballot um, uh, or that or you call and they say they never got your mail ballot and you should go ahead and, tr and vote in person. In that case, you should do it. But I wouldn't, I, it would be a bad thing if thousands of people decided that the way they were gonna figure out whether or not their mail ballot was received is by showing up at the polling place to Agreed. test it. Agreed, and, and even uh, what's not visible to uh, after that is that, um, that a provisional ballot or even regular ballot, but um, whatever you wanna, however it's called locally, it has to be adjudicated. And uh, mm -hmm. somebody's gonna have to um, s stop what they're doing essentially and focus on your ballot. Is it valid? Is there a duplicate? Um, are you who you say you are? And that, um, that slows down the election's results. So the more provisional ballots, the worse off it is for the system. So and, and, and the really less of those. Right, absolutely. The, I should say, and the provisional ballot might end up not getting counted, <laughs> as happens. Uh, and obviously, most people, if they go to the effort of voting, they want their vote to be counted. Sure. Uh, and and um, those, you know, there's been a lot of talk about which ballots get counted first, which ballots get counted last. The provisional ballots are, are dead last. Yeah. Um, they were after all the other ballots have been counted. Yep. And they're, they're likely the ones that are delaying the election results coming out, because in most uh, localities, it's a, re um, a requirement, if not a law, that uh, every provisional ballot, every vote has to be fully adjudicated, which uh, sometimes means uh, extensive research on their part to try to track people down um, before they can um, uh, cast their vote aside as being um, either, um, well, if, if they think it's not valid, they really need to go through a lot of work. And that means the election results are delayed. Yeah. So that, that, that hopefully is a big deal for everyone just as much as anything else. Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, it was very informative. This has been Lincoln Shorts. Uh